Did you know that fear of the number 13 is so widespread it's actually got a scientific name? It's called Triskaidekaphobia. This peculiar phobia has roots that run deep into the annals of human history and across myriad cultures. It's a tale as old as time. And it's all about the number 13. In many parts of the world, this number is seen as a harbinger of bad luck. It's a superstition that has seeped into our everyday lives in ways you may not even realize. It's in the architecture around us, in the design of buildings. Many skyscrapers and hotels, for example, mysteriously omit the 13th floor. It's as if, by skipping straight from 12 to 14, we can somehow trick misfortune into passing us by. So the next time you step into an elevator, take a moment to look for the button for the 13th floor. Chances are, you won't find it. Ever crossed paths with a black cat and felt a chill run down your spine? You're not alone. This enigmatic feline has been casting shadows in the annals of superstition for centuries. In many Western cultures the black cat is seen as an ill omen. Picture this. A solitary black cat slinking across a moonlit road its eyes gleaming like twin embers in the dark. It's enough to make anyone's heart skip a beat isn't it? But let's jet across the globe to Japan, where the story takes an intriguing twist. Here, black cats are considered harbingers of good fortune. A black cat crossing your path in the land of the rising sun could mean prosperity is on the horizon. So the next time you see a black cat, remember, it's not the cat, but the culture that dictates whether you're in for a stroke of luck or a dose of misfortune. So, whether you should pet that black cat or not, might just depend on where you're standing. Salt. It's a staple in kitchens worldwide. But did you know that spilling it is considered bad luck? Yes, that's right. This superstition may seem peculiar, but its roots stretch back to ancient times. Picture this. Centuries ago, salt was no mere table seasoning. It was a precious commodity, more valuable than gold in some civilizations. It was used for preserving food, in religious ceremonies and even as a form of currency. So to spill salt was to literally throw away wealth. Over the years this practical concern morphed into a full-blown superstition. It's believed that spilling salt invites misfortune or even the devil himself. To counteract this, people began to throw a pinch of spilled salt over their left shoulder, where it was believed the devil lurked. In today's world while salt is no longer a rare commodity, this superstition has survived, passed down through generations. So, remember, if you ever spill salt, throw a pinch over your left shoulder to ward off any bad luck. Think twice before you open that umbrella indoors, it might just bring you bad luck. Now you might be wondering, how on earth could that possibly be? Well, let's take a trip back in time to ancient societies where umbrellas had a much more significant role. They weren't just for shielding us from a sudden downpour, oh no, these societies believed umbrellas were protective charms against the wrath of the gods. But here's the catch. They thought that opening an umbrella inside a house was a blatant sign of disrespect to the gods. It was as if you were challenging their power, not a smart move when they control the weather. Over time this belief morphed into the superstition we know today, with a twist. Instead of angering the gods we now believe that opening an umbrella indoors brings bad luck. So, next time it's raining, maybe wait until you're outside to pop open that umbrella. From fearful numbers to black cats, spilled salt to indoor umbrellas, our world is full of fascinating superstitions. We've journeyed from the ominous number 13, a symbol of dread and unease in many cultures, to the enigmatic black cat, a creature both revered and feared in different corners of the globe. We've explored the spilled salt saga, a common household accident turned into a centuries-old omen and we've delved into the peculiar indoor umbrella incident, a seemingly innocent act, transformed into a harbinger of bad luck. These beliefs, as diverse as the cultures they originate from, paint a vibrant picture of our world's rich tapestry of traditions and superstitions. They remind us of our shared human tendency to find meaning and pattern, even in the most mundane of occurrences. What are some strange superstitions from your local area? Share in the comments below and remember, don't let a black cat cross your path on your way there.